Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to continue our discussion in tutorial part 4, phase diagram, chapter 5, states of matter for phase diagram. Okay, so kita tengok apakah soalan yang kita akan sambung di dalam uh, video kita pada kali ini. Alright, so number 13, uh, define okay, phase and then state the number of phases for each of the following system. Okay, A, mixture of ethanol and water. B, a solution of benzene and water. C, mixture of oxygen, nitrogen and carbon dioxide gases. D, nitric acid in equilibrium with its vapor. Okay, so uh, definition for phase. Huh? So what is definition for phase? Okay, number 13A. For first, kita tengok dahulu definition for phase. Okay, phase is defined as okay, system of part. Okay, system of part of it. which are separate by a distinct boundary okay which are separated by a distinct boundary okay such as solid liquid and gas okay so the next question question a a mixture of ethanol and water okay so a mixture of ethanol and water contain berapa phase okay it contain one phase okay because they are mixture okay next a solution of benzene and water so as a solution of benzene and water okay solution means they are the solute they are the solvent they bila dia ada dua phase okay Dua solid and solvent Maksudnya dia adalah Dua phase Okay Two phase Next A mixture of oxygen Nitrogen and carbon dioxide gases So Mixture Maksudnya campuran Okay Gases Di satu Phase sahaja Okay So it contain One phase Okay Right And then D Nitric acid Aquas in equilibrium With its vapor So Nitric acid aqueous and vapor. So there are proper phase. This in we have two phase. Okay, alright. So that's all for question number thirteen. Okay. So next we proceed to question number fourteen. So for question number fourteen, uh, you are going to define the critical point and triple point. Okay. B. Uh, we are going to draw uh, and sketch a phase diagram. Okay. So. Definition for critical and triple point. Critical point is the point on the liquid gas equilibrium curve, okay, above which it is impossible to condense the gas into a liquid. Okay, right. Then for triple point, okay, definition for triple point, there are point into three phases, okay, the mana solid, liquid, and gases can coexist at the same temperature and pressure. Okay, so this is the definition for critical, okay, critical and tri triple point, okay, critical and triple point. Alright, so next, okay, the question, uh, table 3 shows data phase equilibrium diagram for carbon dioxide, sketch a phase diagram for carbon dioxide. Okay, so um, to sketch a phase diagram for carbon dioxide, pertama sekali kita mesti draw exist okay first diagram for carbon dioxide so we draw exist okay x uh, y axis and x axis so for y axis okay here okay y is the pressure so the pressure is in atm okay to x axis this one adalah temperature in degree celsius okay all right and then Kita draw the line that separate solid and gas. Okay, the next one, liquid and gas. And then we have solid and liquid. 
Okay, so dia berbentuk apa? Huruf Y. Right. And then um, triple point is at 5.2 atm. Okay, so the triple point. Okay, 5.2 atm and critical point at 73 atm. So maksudnya di sini pressure temperature dia okay, pressure di sini adalah 5.2. Okay, this one adalah 73. Okay. And then Okay, temperature. Okay, the temperature for critical point for carbon dioxide is 31 degree Celsius. Okay, then temperature for triple point is negative 57 degree Celsius. Okay, alright. So, jangan lupa labelkan. This one adalah fasa apa? This is solid phase. And then this is liquid phase. And then this is gas. Okay, alright. So this one titik yang kita baru tanda tadi, this one adalah apa ni? This is triple point. Okay, and then this one is critical point. Okay, alright. So ini adalah face diagram untuk Face diagram yang kita sketch for carbon dioxide. Okay, the next question. Explain the phase changes that could possibly occur when a sample of carbon dioxide in a closed vessel under 1 atm pressure and temperature of negative 78 degrees Celsius is pressurized isothermally to 10 atm followed by isobaric heating to 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, so ada term Dua term yang kita sudah belajar dekat dalam lecture iaitu isothermal dan juga isobaric. Okay, so isothermal, okay, isothermal bermaksud pada pressure 10 atm and isobaric, okay, pada temperature, okay, ada temperature uh, 220 degree Celsius. Okay, alright. Jadi, pertama sekali kita tengok in a closed container okay di dalam closed container okay pressure is equal to 1 atm okay jadi bila pressure is 1 atm and temperature negative 78 degree celsius carbon dioxide okay so di mana 1 atm so this one 1 atm okay di bawah ni kita ada 1 atm okay negative 78 degree celsius so negative 78 degree celsius is somewhere around here ok uh, dia berada di sini lah negative 78 jadi it may be exist sebagai apa gas phase ok mungkin dia wujud sebagai gas phase saja kalau dia di kawasan ini dia berada di dalam kawasan gas ok ataupun mungkin dia berada di dalam Okay, mungkin juga dia berada di dalam solid phase. Okay, mungkin juga dia berada di kawasan sini. Jadi di sini dia berada di dalam keadaan apa? Solid. Okay, maybe di di kawasan ini solid phase. Okay, because di kita berada pada satu atm, eh? one atm. Ataupun mungkin dia berada di dalam solid and gas phase in equilibrium. Okay, mungkin dia berada di kawasan ini. Okay, next. Okay, next, pressurize isothermally to 10 atm. Jadi, katalah dia berada di kawasan di sini tadi. Okay, di kawasan di sini. So, pressurize isothermal. Isothermal maksudnya dia akan naik ke atas. Pergi pada 10 atm. Okay, jadi dia pergi kepada 10 atm. Maksudnya di sini, pada kawasan ini. Okay, dia akan bertukar kepada kawasan apa? Solid. Okay, so pressurized isothermally to 10 atm, all carbon dioxide becomes solid. Next, okay, kita akan isobaric heating. Okay, isobaric heating, maksudnya pada 10 atm, okay, dia akan heating kepada suhu 20 degree Celsius. So, dia akan bergerak ke 20 degree Celsius di sini. Okay, right, so at 20 degree Celsius, 
dia akan melt ataupun okay, melt maksudnya dia from solid dia change to liquid jadi di kawasan ini dia akan apa it will melt okay. ataupun kalau dia keluar ke sini kawasan ini dia akan apa boils so this is the answer by increasing the temperature isobarically to 20 degrees celsius change the carbon dioxide to be melts or boils ok alright so inilah maksud apa bermaksud dia uh, melts ataupun boils ok at 10 atm and 20 degrees celsius ok so ini merupakan uh, kawasan di mana uh, dia berada di dalam keadaan ok so kita tengok di sini at 10 atm and 20 degrees celsius carbon dioxide maybe exist as liquid saja ok liquid saja di kawasan ini or as uh, maybe as liquid and gas at equilibrium ok mungkin berada di kawasan sini liquid and gas at equilibrium or maybe it is gas only this is because ini adalah merupakan region untuk uh, temperature dia iaitu pada 20 degree celsius ok alright figure below shows a phase diagram for water. Okay, so berbeza kan? Water tadi, okay, water sekarang ni dia punya slope is negative slope. Okay, for carbon dioxide just now is hmm, positive slope. Slope macam biasa, bentuk Y. Okay, alright. So, which curve represent the equilibrium between ice and water vapor? Okay, ice and water vapor. Di mana ice? So, this one. Okay, kita tandakan awal-awal di sini. Okay. So this is solid. Okay, this one is liquid. So di sini adalah vapor ataupun gas. Okay, sebab dia air. Jadi air kita panggil vapor. Eh. Okay, which curve represent equilibrium between ice and water vapor? So this is ice and water. So which curve? Curve yang represent ini adalah curve. Okay, answer for A. Okay, curve B, C. Okay. BC curve that represent okay ice and water vapor in equilibrium okay question B state the phase changes when sample at point E so you have point E di sini okay is heated at constant pressure so mana constant pressure meaning that dia akan bergerak ke kanan eh? heated mean temperature dia akan apa temperature temperature will increase ok so dia sampailah dekat point F ok jadi hint dia draw and label new points in your diagram to explain your answer jadi saya ada 3 point yang baru saya letak di sini ok so di sini ialah X this is Y this is point Z so at point E ok dekat point E ok point E dia wujud dalam keadaan solid phase Okay, and then at point X, dia wujud di dalam solid and liquid di dalam keadaan keseimbangan equilibrium. Okay, point Y, okay, di dalam keadaan apa? Liquid phase. And then we have point X, Z, okay, sorry, point Z, dia berada di dalam liquid and vapor okay, equilibrium then the last one at point F okay, dia wujud dalam keadaan vapor phase ok right so vapor phase ok question C Name the point at which the BC line. So which one? Where is BC? Okay. So this is BC line. Okay. BC line intersect with 180m. Okay. So let's say this is 180m. Okay. At 180m. So they intersect di sini. Okay. So kawasan ini. Kawasan yang saya tandakan di sini. So line ini kita panggil dia sebagai apa? Freezing point. Okay freezing point ataupun melting point takat beku ataupun takat didih okay. 
Alright sebab dia ber, dia ber uh, apa intersect at 9 BC. Okay. Alright next the last question. The BC line has a negative slope. Explain. Okay so reason dia sebab apa? Okay this one explanation yang selalu kita sudah explain. Okay. This is because Okay, this is because ice is less dense than water while okay, most solids are denser than their liquid. Okay, alright. So, uh, that's all. Okay, itu saja untuk kita punya explanation A, B, okay, C, freezing point and melting point, and D. Okay, so that's all for tutorial uh, 5.0, chapter 5.4. Okay, thank you for watching.